I do applaud you if you're getting through all of these riffs. This is tough stuff, especially if you're new to power chords or to the guitar in general. So let's go into our last riff. It's called, it's a, from a song called Damn That River. It's not the whole song, just the main riff, which is by Alice in Chains, another excellent, excellent 90s band that you got to check out. This is a classic. So we're going to do something special with our tuning, first of all, in this song. We're going to do a thing that's called drop D tuning. If you've never used that before, it just means that you're in standard tuning except for your sixth string. You're going to drop that down a whole step to the note D. So you'd be at D, A, D, G, B, E. But we're not stopping there. We are actually going to take all of those strings as they are in drop D and we're going to drop them all down another half step. So it's going to be D flat or C sharp, A flat or G sharp, D flat, C sharp again, G flat, F sharp, B flat, A sharp, and E flat, D sharp. So go ahead and tune your guitar. Pause me, I'll wait. All right, now that you're all tuned up, let me show you how this riff works. Now, the great thing about playing in drop D tuning is that we can do our power chords that happen on the lowest three strings, the sixth, fifth, and fourth, with just one finger. <laughs> How about that? So you could actually play a whole song that just has power chords with one finger if you wanted. But we're going to be a little bit more efficient than that. So first thing you're going to do with this riff is you're going to go three, four, five, open. So we're all on the same strings, just bar those lowest three strings. And that's all down strums. Then we're going to move that up to five, Six, seven. Lots of chromatic movement here. There's that term again. And then we're going to go back to six, five, three, zero. So far we've got. Okay, then we're going to go back to that three, three, four, five, zero. And then we're going to do the five, six, seven, six, five, three. And then we're going to silence the strings right there. So let me play that again. Here's the first part. Here's the second part. that I'm also doing once I get it up to song tempo, just to be a little faster and more efficient is I'm actually hammering on to my, uh, to some of these chords. For example, I can hit three and I can hammer on to four and five. Now that's easier said than done at first because you really have to slam your finger down on three strings at a time. It's easy to do a hammer-on with just one string, but when you have to do it with a whole bar, that really takes some practice. If you can't do it at first, just strum them. Either way, it's going to sound awesome. The next couple of times they play it, they're actually just using the bottom two strings. the same thing, right? Just two strings instead of three, big deal. And then they're actually palm muting it a little bit. Okay, to get that nice muted percussive effect. So have fun with this riff. 
Thank you so much for tuning in today. Get through this video, practice it, pause me as often as you want to, right? And you will achieve power chord glory. All right, keep it positive too. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do this. All it takes is a lot of repetition and a lot of practice. You will get there, you will get stronger, you will get better, you will get more musical and more expressive and all of those wonderful things. Now, I love doing these lesson videos. Please let me know in the comments below if you would have a, a specific song request you want me to cover, if you um, have a specific topic on guitar you would like me to do a lesson on, any of the above, if you have any questions or comments about this video, go ahead, keep it positive people, be good to each other, and keep strumming.